Elon Musk is all in on Texas. He moved SpaceX headquarters to this place and created Starbase City. These decisions follow a final straw tweet aimed at California Governor Gavin Newsom. But things are even more complicated than that. In fact, Musk has a big obsession with the Lone Star State, and he has been staking out territory here for years now. And the major beef with the Golden State is just a push for him to realize his unprecedented goal in this place. Call the shots in his very own town. Find out everything in today's episode. Anyway, thank you for helping us reach 90,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. SpaceX has a rich history that began in California and later expanded to Texas. Elon Musk launched SpaceX in a small warehouse in El Segundo, California, driven by his vision to reduce space launch costs and enable Mars colonization. A few years later, SpaceX moved to a larger facility in Hawthorne, which quickly became a hub for innovation and rocket manufacturing, supporting the development of critical infrastructure. The company has since contributed nearly 7,000 jobs, about 16% of total employment in Hawthorne, solidifying its role as a key player in the local economy. The reason behind kicking off his dream in California is very simple. This partly stems from the location's history as the center of many breakthroughs in the space industry and the state's number of tax breaks and incentives over the years. But more importantly, it's about the talent pool there. Elon Musk reached out to the hobby rocket groups of Southern California as a way to get started with SpaceX as well. These were the guys he wanted, and it was far easier to recruit them where they were. This is where he found early employees like Tom Muller and Chris Thompson, who were instrumental in building the company's foundation. Taking advantage of the region's vast aerospace talent pool is Elon Musk's initial motivation to stay and stake its expansion plans on a region and state that are often derided for chasing away factories and large headquarters operations with high costs and regulations. In addition to California, SpaceX also has base test sites in Texas. The company's involvement in the area dates back to 2003 when SpaceX took over the McGregor site from the previous rocket company Beale Aerospace. The site was mothballed and already had rocket engine test stands which SpaceX needed for testing noisy rocket engines and launching prototype spacecraft. McGregor then becomes home to SpaceX's propulsion test team. SpaceX's expansion in Texas took a significant step forward when the company officially selected Boca Chica Village, later named Starbase, as its non-governmental launch facility in August 2014. Initially intended for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches, SpaceX shifted its focus by early 2018 to dedicate Starbase exclusively to the development and testing of its next-generation vehicle, Starship. Since then, Starbase has transformed into a bustling hub for rocket production and testing, witnessing rapid advancements in the Starship program. The facility has further solidified its role as a key player in the future of space exploration, as Elon Musk announced he would relocate SpaceX's headquarters to the Lone Star State. The move is fueled by the unfriendly business climate in California and the conflict of political views between Musk and California Governor Gavin Newsom. More interestingly, he wants to create his own company town here. In December 2024, SpaceX submitted a formal request to Cameron County officials for an election to establish Starbase as an official municipality. This area, located near Boca Chica Beach, serves as SpaceX's rocket manufacturing and launch complex. Musk's choice of Texas is strategic. Leveraging the state's business-friendly environment, lack of income tax, and a growing talent pool. Aside from the economic advantages, an investment Musk made around 2020 paints a different picture as to why he loves the state so much. In 2020, Musk began developing a utopia along the Colorado River in Bastrop County, 
approximately 30 miles southeast of Austin, Texas. This proposed community, dubbed Snail Brook, which is under construction, is intended to serve as a residential area for employees of SpaceX and The Boring Company. Musk's decision to establish Snailbrook stems from his desire to create an environment that fosters innovation and productivity, while addressing the housing challenges faced by his workforce in the rapidly growing Austin area. By acquiring approximately 3,500 acres of land, Musk aims to develop a space that includes affordable housing, recreational facilities, and essential services tailored to the needs of his employees. While Musk plans to charge employees around $800 per month in rent, substantially lower than local market rates, this arrangement resembles historical company towns, where employees live and work in close proximity, although modern labor laws would prevent any exploitative practices. Of course, Texas's favorable incorporation laws make it easier for Musk to establish a town compared to California. Snailbrook and an incorporated Starbase City reflect Musk's ambitious vision in Texas. If you create your own city, and it's a relatively small area now, you have kind of control over that area, Robert Greer said. An associate professor at the Bush School of Government and Public Service at Texas A&M University, he emphasizes that establishing a city, especially in a smaller area, grants significant control over local governance and resources. This control can influence various aspects of community life, including economic development and infrastructure management. He noted that such incorporation could also allow for eligibility for state and federal grants to support local initiatives. The incorporation process is not without challenges. For instance, Texas law requires a minimum population and majority voter approval for a new city to be formed. Additionally, there are concerns from local residents regarding potential environmental impacts from SpaceX operations. For example, in August 2024, Valley Groups sent a letter to the FAA protesting SpaceX's operations at Boca Chica, helping to stall SpaceX's plans to launch Starship 25 times per year. Besides that, some people also don't welcome Musk's changes to the area along the Colorado River. Concerns about Elon Musk's plans for Snailbrook echo historical issues associated with 19th century company towns. Critics argue that this development could lead to significant corporate control over residents' living conditions and local governance. Anyway, on the positive side, Musk's presence for the past years has contributed significantly to the change of a small Texas border town. Musk's companies, including Tesla and SpaceX, have brought substantial job opportunities to the region. One of the most prominent milestones in Musk's Texas ventures is Tesla's Gigafactory near Austin. Serving as not only the production center for Tesla's future Cybertruck, but also the company's headquarters, Tesla's Gigafactory is expected to create more than 5,000 jobs contributing to boosting local economic activity and employment. Simultaneously, it anchors Austin as a key player in the global electric vehicle industry. SpaceX has also created over 21,400 indirect jobs in the local area, along with more than 3,400 full-time employees and contractors working directly at its Starbase facility. The company has invested upwards of $3 billion in infrastructure at Starbase, contributing to an annual gross economic market value of approximately $6.5 billion for the region. This investment also includes plans for expanding manufacturing and office spaces. The activities of SpaceX have led to a significant increase in tourism, with projections indicating an economic impact of nearly $100 million from visitors drawn to rocket launches and events at Starbase. Notably, individual launch events have attracted over 11,000 visitors, benefiting local hospitality and service sectors. In addition to these developments, the establishment of Snailbrook, despite some controversy, aims to provide affordable housing for employees while promoting innovation and improving residents' quality of life. 
the project seeks to build a self-sustaining community that combines living and working environments, aligning with Musk's vision for contemporary urban development. In terms of education, Musk, through the charity called The Foundation, donated $100 million to create and launch a primary and secondary school in Austin, focused on teaching science, technology, engineering, and math. Once it is fully operational, the school will focus on creating the university. While Texas's economy is blooming, California has been facing the significant impacts of SpaceX's move. Elon Musk's decision to relocate SpaceX's headquarters from California to Texas marks a pivotal shift that could reshape the dynamics between the aerospace giant and its home state. While the immediate job losses in California may be modest, the move symbolizes a broader trend of tech companies seeking more favorable business climates, raising concerns about the economic impact on local communities that have long depended on such high-profile employers. As Musk embraces Texas's lower taxes and fewer regulations, critics warn of the potential for increased corporate control over local governance, echoing historical issues associated with company towns. This relocation also intensifies political tensions, particularly in light of Musk's vocal opposition to recent California legislation regarding parental notification on gender identity changes further complicating his relationship with state officials. Moreover, while Texas offers operational advantages that could accelerate SpaceX's innovation and project timelines, the move may alter the company's brand image and its ability to attract talent accustomed to California's vibrant tech ecosystem. As these changes unfold, the implications for both SpaceX and California will be significant highlighting the ongoing struggle between corporate interests and state governance in an increasingly competitive landscape. Of course, SpaceX is not the pathfinder for the wave of Elon Musk's companies moving out of California. This transition began in spring 2020 when California mandated the closure of Tesla's Fremont plant due to COVID-19 restrictions. Frustrated by state regulations and political climate, Musk announced plans to relocate Tesla's headquarters to Texas. Following this, he also moved to other ventures, such as The Boring Company, which is developing Hyperloop Plaza near Austin, envisioned as a futuristic community called Snailbrook for employees. Musk cited a recent California law regarding parental notification for gender identity changes as the final straw prompting this move. He expressed dissatisfaction with the crime and living conditions near the X headquarters in San Francisco. Despite criticism and skepticism about the permanence of these relocations, Musk's actions reflect a broader trend of businesses seeking more favorable environments in Texas, which has become increasingly attractive for companies looking to escape California's regulatory landscape. In response to Elon Musk moving Tesla out of California, California Governor Gavin Newsom said he was not worried. I'm also not worried about Elon leaving anytime soon. I've had a lot of conversations with him, and we're committed to the success and the innovation and the low-carbon green growth economy that he's been promoting for decades, and the state of California is accelerating in. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.